So what? Fun, fitness, wellness and inspiration. 50 isn't old, 60 isn't old. In fact, the World Health Organization in 2016 has redefined the stages of life. You're still considered young at 65 and middle age starts at 66. You don't become a senior until you're 80, until you're 80. So with all of us living into our 80s and 90s, we've got so many years left to enjoy life and have some fun. Over 50, so what? Age is just a number. So what if you want to learn computers, go back to school, change careers, go to uni, you want to jump on a motorbike, go skydiving, try carpentry, pick up a musical instrument or learn to sing. So what? So what if you've got a bad knee, a bad elbow, a bad hip, a bad back? There's still so many things in life that we can enjoy. Fun, fitness, wellness and inspiration. This show is for people over 50 who want to be inspired and who want to inspire others. We hope that you enjoy the show and it encourages you to try a few new things without worrying about what anybody else thinks. This show has a number of segments and today we have energy for life where we have tips and strategies for keeping you healthy and active. We have the bucket list where we consider things that you might want to try, might want to put on your bucket list. Alive and kicking, a five minute fitness routine. You don't need any special equipment. We just have some fun fitness to music. We have that in every show. And we have Everyday Legends, where we meet people from the everyday community who inspire us. Now, for those of you who don't know me, I've been in the fitness and wellness industry for many, many years. In fact, way, way back in 1981, I produced a fitness record, vinyl, that became a gold bestseller. And I've been really passionate about the over 50s for many decades. In fact, right back in 87, I produced the first fitness video for the over 50s. I'm passionate about the over 50s. And I believe that by staying healthy, mentally, physically, and emotionally, we're gonna have a fun, quality, independent life as long as possible. Life is short. So let's have some fun together. Welcome to the bucket list. This is the segment where we look at new things to put on your bucket list and maybe some of the things you've already got on your bucket list but you're not sure about how you're gonna go about doing them. Maybe you're not as fit as you used to be and you've got some physical limitations so you're not sure about whether you'll be able to do it or not. So we're going to look at all those things. Now, when I wrote the book Alive and Kicking, I interviewed some amazing Australian legends asking for the secret to health and vitality, energy and vitality as your age. And one of the things they told me was to always have something to look forward to. Always having something to look forward to, and that is what a bucket list is. So I suggest you go and grab a pen and paper, get ready to write down your ideas, you can do it after the show, and if you contact us through YouTube, Facebook, whatever, we'll send you a template to help you with your ideas for your bucket list. We've divided the bucket list into six different categories. The first one is activities. There's a lot of those on my list. They're physical activities like cycling and kayaking, canyoning, skydiving, abseiling, maybe yoga, pilates, meditation, trekking in the Himalayas, 
photography activities. Next, we have house or home. Where do you want to live? Do you want to downsize and live in the country? Live by the beach? Maybe you want to get a caravan or a camper van and live in that for a while, traveling around. Then we come to family. Maybe you want to get the whole family together, your children, your grandchildren, you go on a holiday together, you stay in a cabin in the bush together, maybe some kind of family get together. Then of course there's travel. And there's hundreds of countries to travel to, whether it's Scandinavia, Sweden, Norway, South America, walking to Machu Picchu, the Pacific Islands, going to Fiji, New Caledonia. Maybe it's going around Australia, going to Uluru. Maybe it's even just going somewhere else in your state that you haven't been before. Then we've got arts and crafts. So that's pottery and sculpting and art and embroidery and knitting. And finally we have mental activities. So that might be learning how to play chess, a language, learning how to speak French or Italian or Mandarin. And computer skills, going back and getting a degree, getting a certificate. So that's it, your six different things for your bucket list. So what are you going to do in the next 10, 20, for 30 years. What are you going to put on your bucket list? We really look forward to hearing all about it, so please send us your stories.